Hello, my name is Connie Liu. I'm an undergraduate at MIT, and today we're going to be talking about mammal classification, and this will be a further look into different types of classification and how mammals are classified based on how they give birth. So there are three main categories for this. There are monotremes, there are marsupials, and there are eutherians. So these are the three main categories that we have, um, and we'll give a further look into each of them. So first off, let's talk about some monotremes. This is a monotreme. Uh, this specifically is a platypus, and the reason that a platypus is a monotreme is because it lays eggs. That's very uncommon among mammals. Most of the species that lay eggs are things like frogs, uh, different types of birds, things like that. But the platypus is one uh, type of mammal that actually does lay eggs, and those are known as monotremes. So moving on to the next one, we'll be talking about marsupials. This is probably a very common marsupial you know, and this is a kangaroo. Marsupials are uh, divided into a different category because they actually hold their young in a pouch. And specifically, what's very different about marsupials is they give birth to their young very early and then just have their young uh, further develop within their pouch. There's a nipple inside their pouch where the young can get nutrients and food, and then they will continue to grow up and be carried in that pouch throughout its young life as well. As you can see in this picture, the baby kangaroo is being held by the mother kangaroo, even though it's fairly well developed and um, is not as young as uh, some kangaroos are when they are actually given birth to and just kind of uh, lay in the pouch. This kangaroo can actually exit the mother's pouch, but it's just more convenient for the mother to carry the king baby kangaroo like this in order to uh, have ease of transportation and things like that. But marsupials are still placental mammals. They still have a placenta that uh, delivers nutrients to the baby even when it's inside its body, but it just gives birth to it a lot earlier on. And the final category of mammals we're going to be talking about are eutherians. And this is probably an animal you know. This is a human. Um, and Commonly, uh, this whole group of mammals is called eutherians. Uh, different examples of this could even be elephants or monkeys. They're also uh, known as eutherians because they're all placental mammals. And basically, that just means that they have a placenta that delivers nutrients, uh, food, water, and uh, takes out waste from their baby that they're carrying inside their stomach or within them. And... Um, they don't give birth to that child until it is fully capable of living on its own, which is different from marsupials because marsupials give birth to their um, young much earlier and then just allow it to continue to develop within the pouch. Uh, alternatively, eutherians give birth to young once they are ready, much like humans give birth to babies once they're ready to enter the world. Um, so those are the three main different categories of uh, mammals that we're going to be classifying. Again, those are monotremes, which are egg-laying mammals, marsupials, which are mammals with a pouch, and eutherians, which are mammals that primarily uh, have their young grow up via uh, placental nutrients and growth. And that's basically all we have for mammal classification by how uh, they give birth.